Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, I too want to share my condolences and sympathies for the, the family who are uh, dealing with this, uh, our latest death from COVID-19. Um, the, the individual who died is a female in her, her 80s uh, who had underlying uh, health conditions uh, and lived in Central Zone. Uh, she was not a resident of a long-term care facility. This unfortunately brings the total number of deaths in Nova Scotia to 59. I'm also reporting uh, two new cases of COVID-19 in Nova Scotia. Important to understand uh, that both of these cases were uh, known contacts of a previous case, uh, so we know how they got exposed. We, 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 there's no indication that they were exposed in sort of general community exposure, which, uh, which is good news. I know that many of you watch the numbers very closely and have, have sharp pencils. Uh, so you, you'd also, you'll notice that yesterday we reported a total of 1,051 positive cases in the province. And today, even though we're reporting two new cases, the total number of positive cases it, it reported is 1,052. As I've mentioned previously, the testing that we're, we're, they've been done by the lab is very accurate, but no test is perfect. Uh, that means there's always a small chance that uh, for a test to have an inaccurate or an indeterminate result. Uh, we know that in, in, in examination of one of our uh, more, more recent cases, uh, in, in, as we're testing a residents and staff at Northwood, we did have a case that had been reported negative for a period of time, then had a positive test and was followed up by a negative test. As we examined that closely with the lab, it was determined that this was a, a false positive test. So that's why you see that the, that, uh, the number of, uh, of, uh, has gone up by one for our total number of positive cases to 1,052, even though we're reporting two new cases today. Just wanted to make that clear for the, your mathematicians out there. Uh, the QE2 lab uh, processed 573 tests yesterday. Uh, we currently have seven individuals in the hospital, four of those in the, are in the ICU. We have 976 people who uh, have now can be considered recovered from their COVID-19 infection. And we've had 38,999 people who have tested, been tested but with a negative result. And it's, it's nice to be able to report that we only have one licensed long-term care home in Nova Scotia now with active cases of COVID-19. That is Northwood and Heather Halifax campus, and they currently have 11 residents and four staff active cases. I want to end by reminding people that we broadened this, the list of symptoms that we want people to be uh, tested. Um, and we've had a significant number of, of, of uh, increased number of people over the weekend uh, and today uh, calling 811 and, and being tested, which is exactly what we want to see. That symptom list is, is longer now, so it's fever, uh, new cough, sore throat, runny nose, headache, shortness of breath, sneezing, muscle aches. Um, if you have a hoarse voice, diarrhea, loss of smell or taste, uh, unusual uh, tiredness or fatigue, or red, purple or blue lesions on the feet, uh, toes or fingers that don't have another explanation. And a lot of those symptoms are, are, are common. Some people have them chronically. It's more if, you, if there are symptoms for you are new or if they've gotten a whole lot worse if they're chronic symptoms. And the vast majority of people that we know, uh, we have cast a very broad net that you're, you're, you need to get tested. The chances of you having COVID are, are, are low, but we still want to make sure we're testing you just to, uh, our objective is to have a very low threshold and be very actively seeking out anybody who may have COVID-19 and getting them tested. So if you have any of those symptoms, do the 811 online assessment, or if you can't do that, call 811 and you'll get direction from there.